All right, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video of any kind, and it's pretty much, yeah, an understatement to say it's been forever since I made a video. Um, part of the reason is I've just been, just not depressed, but a little disappointed in I guess how the season has been playing out and um, really just recent years to be honest pretty much from 2017 on I've just kind of not had the same excitement about the series as I once had and um, I can get into that in another, in another video but what's been on my mind recently is and I don't know why <laughs> probably me being being nostalgic but I wanted to talk about um, the the comparison between Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon and this is kind of a new thing I might want to do let me know your thoughts um, just kind of like a I don't know if it's gonna be a one take <laughs> but um just something that um, is just kind of off you know uh, just my thoughts thinking out loud um, about this topic and whatever other topics kind of come to mind or maybe if you guys want to suggest some in the comments section below but um i don't know i just like i've been thinking about this and i don't think it gets talked about enough so i wanted to make a video a quick video that kind of summarizes my uh, personal feelings about the comparison between the two you know drivers in the sport and um i don't know i just think it's it should be talked about more and so so just to get right into it, um, so everyone, a lot of people that watch racing and watch NASCAR currently, or at least have watched in the past 10 years, would probably say Jimmy Johnson is the better driver. Uh, Jimmy Johnson is superior to Jeff Gordon when it comes to um, just pure stats and, and pure speed and everything. And for a long time, I thought that too. Um, obviously, I'm a huge Jimmy Johnson fan. I have... Uh, his screensaver on my computer. I have a giant seven-time Jimmy Johnson flag over there uh, above my bed hanging down. Um, and so I would have been in that camp as well. I would have been in that camp as well. And I have to say recently with what I've been thinking about, you know, I, I don't think I think that anymore. I think I would have to say, you know, Jeff Gordon is the in my opinion, Jeff Gordon is the better overall driver than Jimmy Johnson, and there's a few reasons for that. One is mainly the championships, right? You can't talk about Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon without talking about the championships, and when you talk about championships with Jimmy Johnson, for a lot of people, you'll have an asterisk at the end of that, and that's because of the chase. And I was watching another video on YouTube that was talking about Jimmy Johnson's success and his five championships in a row and all that, has been, you know, marred by the decline of NASCAR and really um, the chase. And speaking of the chase, you know, we all know, or most of us know, that if the chase had never been implemented, Jimmy Johnson would only have three championships coming in 2006, 2009, and 2013. Um, obviously, he'd still have all of his wins, but only those three championships instead of the five in the row, five in a row, and then 13 and 16 to make seven. And Jeff Gordon, without the chase, would be a seven-time champion. He would have won it in 2004, he would have won it in 2007, and he would have won it in 2014. So he would be a seven-time champion and he would be the one talked about with the likes of Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt for being the best driver ever instead of Jimmy Johnson. And like I said, I love Jimmy Johnson, I really do. He is my idol um, and has been for, you know, really over a decade. But, and if you look and if you look at, you know, pure stats, like if you just look at pure statistics and take out, um, you know, the chase and all of that, Jimmy Johnson, you know, he has seven titles. He had five of them in a row. I mean, that's a dynasty and we've never seen that before. And like many people, I don't think we'll ever see it again, um, chase or not. I don't think we'll ever see that again. And 
you know, he has 10 less wins currently, but he's still driving. Um, can he get to 90? I don't know, maybe 100? No, not anymore. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I would have said for sure, um, but no, he can't get to 100 anymore. 90 maybe if he goes on a tear in the next year or two. Not sure. Uh, probably unlikely, to be honest. But, um, you know, I mean, he has, he matches him in wins at Martinsville. He has one less Brickyard 400 than Jeff Gordon. He's the all-time winner at Charlotte. He's the all-time winner at Texas. He's the all-time winner at uh, Dover. You know, he dominates that place. I mean, he has, he might be the all-time winner. I think he's the all-time winner at California. He has like four wins at Atlanta, um, like three or four wins at Las Vegas. And that 2010 race comes to mind where he and Jeff Gordon basically lapped the entire field. So, I mean, Jimmy Johnson, in a lot of ways, is right there with Jeff Gordon. I mean, of course. Um, and interestingly, you know, when Jeff Gordon picked Jimmy Johnson to fill in that 48 car role, um, it's interesting. He kind of made himself obsolete, <laughs> or at least it turned out to be that way, because obviously he never won a title after he put him in that car which is insane. I mean, no one thought Jeff Gordon was done winning championships in after 2001. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. And Jeff Gordon in an interview is cited as saying, Jimmy Johnson is the best I've ever raced against. And so maybe in his mind, Jimmy Johnson is the best all time. I know Larry Mack has said it, um, which means he would be better than Jeff Gordon. <laughs> But I don't know, I just, I'm not sure if, if I see it. Um, and I think a lot of it is because of the chase. And you could argue, and I think this is a valid argument, that, you know, the chase brought on a different, it was a different format, obviously, and so you had to race differently. And so you would race the first 26 races. You just race to get in the chase, basically. So it, as long as you're, you know, you know t top 10 in points for the first chase system, you're in and that's really all you had to do you had to be top 10 in points and then they'd, they'd reset you based on you know your wins and stuff but you could only really be maximum of like 50 points behind the leader starting the chase in 10th place so it wasn't that much of a big deal and this is back when 50 points was equivalent of like maybe 15 points now um or like 10 ish so it really wasn't that big of a hurdle, obviously, to, to get over if you could just be consistent. Um, so I think, you know, I think the chase definitely, um, you had to race differently. And, you know, Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson battled one another in 2007. And Jimmy Johnson obviously won out. He won four races in a row. I mean, it was just, it was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. And... Um, and Jeff Gordon ultimately lost by like 60 or so points, 60 or 70 points. Um, and I think that's impressive. I think, you know, Jimmy Johnson is the best chase driver, bar none. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to argue he's the best chase driver. And he knows when to turn it on, and he knows when to cool off. And, I mean, he's so... Ah, he just He's so calculated. He just... You know, he just knows exactly when to turn it on. Like, go back and watch uh, the 2007 Texas fall race where he battled Matt Kenseth for the win. I mean, he was chasing him down, makes a couple runs at him, and uh, can't get around him. It's within, like, five laps to go. Backs off, cools his tires a bit, right? In the middle of, within five laps to go. Like, this is literally last five laps. He's doing this. Backs off like three or four car lengths, and like any other driver, it's over. I mean, race is over. Matt Kenseth wins. No, Jimmy Johnson makes another run, and I think if I remember correctly, got him on the outside. I want to say, oh, might have been the inside. I don't know. I haven't watched that clip in a little bit, but it doesn't matter. He got him with like two laps or three laps to go, cleared him, and just booked it. Drove away and won by like over half a second. And um, I mean, it's tough to deny. Well, you really can't deny, like, the talent in that. I mean, he just, man, he flips that switch, and he's, he's a bullet. He's gone. Um, and I think in recent years, we've seen how much of it is Jimmy Johnson, how much of it is the team, because Hendrick has sucked the past pretty much, like, three seasons. Actually, pretty much the past four or five seasons, they've kind of sucked. Um, even though he won in 2016, 
you know, ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we can talk about that in another video. But uh, but yeah, I think I think you have to say Jeff Gordon is. I think he's the better driver. I really do. Um, more wins, more consistent. Would have had seven championships if there had not been the advent of the chase format. And I think you know you have to bring in. Look, Jeff Gordon competed directly with Dale Earnhardt, who many regard as the best driver ever in the sport. And he kicked his ass. I mean, <laughs> he did. He he kicked his ass. And um, and you can you know you can argue that Dale was older. He was in his forties. He was already a seven-time champion. Blah blah blah. And all that's true. And I completely agree. But he also had some great runs in the mid '90s, mid to late '90s, and he almost won his eighth championship on multiple occasions. So it's not like Earnhardt was just driving around on a Sunday drive, not really competing. I mean, you know, he was still a top five driver, top five contender, top ten for sure contender, like every week. So he was definitely a champion, championship contender for the majority of those years. Um, leading up to you know his death, and, and Jeff Gordon beat him every time. I mean, Dale Earnhardt didn't win a championship after Jeff Gordon came onto the scene, just like Jeff Gordon didn't win after Jimmy Johnson came into the sport. So a little bit of a changing of the changing of the guard there, I think. Um, I think, and I think many of you will agree with me. Um, and, you know, Jimmy Johnson barely missed out on racing with Dale Earnhardt by, you know, a matter of months, really. Oh, and it's interesting, what would Dale have thought of Jimmy? Um, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure anyone knows. Maybe Dale Jr. knows what he would have thought of Jimmy. But, um, you know, I think if you look at all time, you know, Richard Petty, he's the king. But if you had to go secondary... And this is including Jimmy Johnson and, and Dale Earnhardt. I would give the edge to Jeff Gordon again. I mean, he's just a freaking alien. He's super fast. He could do ridiculous things in a car. You know, Dale Earnhardt was amazing. I mean, there's no question about it. You can't deny his talent either. The pass on the grass. I mean, how do you control a car? How? How does that happen, you know? How do you make those moves at super speedways? Like, how do you pass 18 cars and what six laps or whatever it was to win his final race at Talladega how do you do that I don't know I don't <laughs> uh, frankly but um I mean Jeff Gordon you know and Dale Earnhardt he was better at, at roughing you up for sure I mean when he, you saw him in, his, in your rearview mirror you you got scared and Jeff Gordon didn't and he dished it back and he beat him sometimes at his own game and and he was just better at the game, he was he was better at doing NASCAR than Dale Earnhardt was, in my opinion. Um, I mean, you know, Dale Earnhardt was blue jeans and a cowboy hat, and Jeff Gordon was a suit and tie, basically. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to compare the personalities, but like that's just kind of how they were as as people, and. Um, but on the track, Jeff Gordon was just better. His cars were better, and he was the better driver overall. More wins, same amount of championships without the chase. Um, I think a huge, huge legacy up there with Earnhardt's. Maybe not as large, but very, very high, um, very large. And yeah, I don't know. So this is, again, this is just me kind of spitballing, um, just thinking out loud, like I said. And these are just my thoughts. I think Jeff Gordon's the better driver overall than Jimmy Johnson. Not taking any way, anything away from Jimmy Johnson. Um, he's an outstanding driver and competitor. And, and Jeff, like I said, Jeff Gordon himself said he's the best he's ever competed against. And um, I think a lot of that goes back to 2007 and their championship battle. And... Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Getting a little older and looking back a little farther into the sport, I think you have to say that Jeff Gordon is the better driver than Jimmy Johnson. And I know I wasn't supposed to talk about this, but in my opinion, is also a better driver. Not a person, you know, not 
more legendary, but he, I, be I believe, in my opinion, again, is a better driver on the racetrack at the majority of tracks, not all tracks, but at the majority of tracks than Dale Sr. And I know that's going to ruffle a lot of feathers, um, but that's, that's just how I see it. So anyway, this has probably gone a lot longer than I wanted it to at this point. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my just kind of random thoughts and commentary on what I've been thinking about. I just wanted to get this out there because, like, like I said, I feel like it's not talked about. And I just wanted to share my opinion with you and anyone else who cares to listen. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully it's not as uh, going to be as long of a wait as it was to this one, but no promises. <laughs> All right, see you guys later.